Good day, mates. Welcome back. Uh, today's the day I've finally decided to start the Dasberg 116th Stumgeschut. So, uh, I'll make a start on it and uh, see how we go. Finally. So this is the hull. Here's the hull in all its glory. And what I'm planning on doing is cutting out everything for this, all the uh, internal bits for the torsion bar suspension the supports for the return rollers and all these little bits and bobs that go on the outside a uh, little bit of extra armour on the front there and uh, see how we get on Drop that on the floor, but not this time, carpet monster. Well, laminate flooring monster, you're not having that. Right, so that's them four bits. The B52s, love shag, baby, please. Excuse my singing. Right, so what else have we got? And we've got some A's. We've got A18s, <coughs> which are those little that thingy there. So let's nip them off. Turn around, bright eyes. There's one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Send four bits off. Mark that off. 
A18, 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 B17s we've got, we've done them, they were the mounts for the return rollers. So my friends, I think that's it. I think we're done with all them. Let's have a little clean up. Scraping it better um, personally. Finishing up with a little bit of missed one in the middle. What about this? Scrapey, scrapey. Like that. Oh, well, you get the idea. I'm not going to uh, show everything like that. I've got all these bits to do all that. Look at that. All that. And those few bits. I'll see you in a minute. Right. <clears throat> so everything's cleaned up. That took about 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes, something like that. That's all ready to go. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 pieces to go on just for this first foray. Uh, these two were, these two were a different to those so all I've done is just mark them on the back so I know which is which with one of these it's an acrylic paint pen it's just acrylic paint in there a nice little tip I do use it on kits I use it to mark pieces sprues like that well I've quite a few of them here different colors black Grey, silver, white. There you go. Different size tips, etc. And I also got a Gundam pen, which is uh, one of these. Gundam marker. It's got a very, 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 very fine tip on it. If you can see that, beautiful fine tip. I use it for doing scratches and chipping as well. Sometimes that's painting it as well. They've all got paint in them and ball bearing in them. Yeah, nice little things. Right, back to business. So let's start sticking stuff on now I do like to use normal Tamiya cement on the bigger parts 
and the extra thin on the smaller stuff. So I'm going to start by sticking the uh, outside extra bolt on armor. That goes on the front. Get the old trusty Tamiya cement. Splash it all over. As they say. right up to the edges dries pretty quick so I'm trying to do it as quick as I can splash it all over stipple 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 and that goes on to the front of that something like this or even that way round making sure I press it on nicely nice and tight That seems to be on, nearly had the cement all over me there. Nice looking bolt action. And seam, weld seam action, even underneath. Alright, so that looks like that's nicely on there. I'll just make sure it's stick it ain't nothing gonna move that man nothing gonna move that all right so that's the first bit done I'll be a bit geeky and I'll mark that off as done right let's get a bit of tidy in action going here otherwise I'm gonna be wearing all that glue right so what I'm gonna do is start on the inside for the torsion bar suspension bits and then that way I'm not uh, having to manoeuvre my fingers around all the stuff that's stuck on the outside so th this is calling for C12 which is this little piece here that I marked cunningly with a number 12 on it believe it or not so these just slip in like that and they sit there nicely like that so I've got to do them all the way around for the suspension that's got a stick in there like that beautiful well, I'm not going to bore you with uh, each okay, one okay so they all went in beautifully easy peasy they slot in that little groove there the bottom slots in the little groove you can feel it when it's landed properly just glue it push it down first a little touch glue it and you're cooking mate beautifully fit very nice part of the torsion suspension system right so that's that done now we've got to put these things over the top of those and they go on there with the four locating lugs into there choose like that something like that anyway they're going on there all the way along and uh, I'll give you a shout when it's done 
little bit of extra thin not extra thin Tamiya cement silly boy so we've got a chamfered end and a flat end and the chamfered end goes towards the inside of the vehicle and that's all there is to it so there's the chamfered end that bit that goes towards the inside of the vehicle the flat bit goes to the side wall splash 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 bit of cement turn it round drop it on line it up click and it's in beautiful as easy as that I'll carry on with that you go and do whatever you're gonna do. Alright, so that's all done. Easy peasy, mate. What I ended up doing, which was quicker and tidier on the fingers because of that cement, is I actually glued the bottom of the vehicle and then stuck the thing on top rather than gluing that bit and sticking it. I dabbed the glue onto that plate on the bottom and then just drop that on uh, into the locating pins and Bob's your mum's brother everything's done beautiful so much detail even for something like that that's going to be hidden under the floor all the bolts beautiful it's a thing of beauty my boy right let's move on to uh, the bits we've got to stick on the outside then so there's the supports for the uh, return rollers, one, two, three, and if you can see that, I'll glue it and show you. I'm just going to use some extra fin on this, round the outside, round the outside, dab, dab, dab. what you've got is three pin three bolts in a triangle so it's two to the top of the tank which is that top bit and one to the bottom you can't you can't do it wrong I don't even why I'm, I don't even know why I'm telling you that because you can't do it wrong it's the only way to fit them on silly boy alright so we'll do some more of that more of that around there I'm not keen on this extra thing you know I don't know if it's the way I do it last one on this side And there we've got three supports for the return rollers. Again, really nice detail on this. All those big old bolt heads. It's a beast. Right, I'll do the other side because you've seen that. So they're on. That's uh, both sides done. Now we're starting to look like something now. <clears throat> along with the inside of the torsion bar suspension the front bolted on extra armour it's all coming together nicely my boys right so now we've got the last of these little bits to put on and then part one 
of the instructions will be finished. So what we've got here is these pieces to go on two locating lugs on the back and I believe that goes on there I think. Anyway, let's have a look. Right, so these little bits, time for them to go on. Little bit of cement, dab, dab, dab. Two little locating holes there next to that return roller thingy. That's done, mate. Same up the end on the back, dab, 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 Just turn it over, wallop it on, done, mate. Dun, 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 da, da, dun, da, 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 right. So we've got these two little things that are according to this shows it as going up that way but I don't think it does I'm not sure I've missed a bit of cleaning on that one slapdash Jono there you go um, showing is going on like that. like that yeah that's it I'm happy with that so again look at my big fat fingers trying to hold on to these little pieces dab 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 turn it over and that locates on there and sticks on the side like that mate just like that get it straight so it looks straight anyway and we've got one up that end as well do that dab 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 like a bit of dab 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 in this house turn that around so we can see what we're doing and that fits on like that super fat straighten it up again by eye because there's nothing to guide you as to whether it's straight or crooked so as long as it looks straight to me that's as good as anything turn it round, do the same on this side these little bits again I'm sure they are part of the suspension or something cement turn it around, try not to get too much gunk on your fingers pins in holes and that one's on mate and again with that, Tamir Cement, pins in holes, and that's on. That ain't going nowhere. Yep, they're on. These two little buggers now. So that one goes on there with the flat edge up in the air. More cement. I 
and then finally this little thing goes on the other end in onto that little locating thing there if you can see it and there's a little pocket on that that fits in like that eye it up straight as I'm gonna get it that's it boys and girls step one is now officially complete thirty odd parts Next up will be sorting out the suspension. Which looks easy enough. Still a load of things to do on the bottom anyway. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Stug Life Part 1. Uh, hopefully I can crack on with this. I've still got other stuff on the go, like I usually do, but that's brilliant. So before we go, I thought I'd just show you the size of this thing. Hold on, let me get organised. This is a Revel, an old Revel kit, an F8 Stug that I'm working on at the moment. Obviously it's not stuck together well, that gives you some sort of scale I mean the hole is probably twice yeah twice the width for that the length for that little tiny one that's a 135 that one that's an F8 from Revel that I'm working on that's going to be winter camo so that gives you some sort of or oh, let me turn it around to the front that gives you some idea of the scale of this kitty. It's big. It's a beast. And it's solid as well. It's really beautifully made. Look, I mean, look at that underneath all that detail. I mean, there's no real need for it because you're only going to see it if you pick it up and look at it or show someone. But there it is. Anyway, thanks for watching Stug Live Part 1. Uh, catch you in the next one. Take it easy my friends, model on.